I remember when I was seven years old when I made my first confession. I was raised in the Catholic Church. Seven years old. <laughs> How, I mean, just what are we doing to think of um, seven years old to, to have to confess sins? And I realized that this um, thing about having a, one of the sins, which is why the, this came to me, was confessing impure thoughts. Anybody besides me have impure thoughts? <laughs> No? Oh, wow, good, good. <laughs> and not because they're self-generated, but because stuff just comes into our consciousness at times, into our heart. It's what do we do with that? Can we maintain um, this sea of glass in spite of what comes into our thinking and feeling? Of course we can. Do you remember, some of you aren't old enough to remember President Carter, but he confessed... Um, that he had thoughts of lustfulness, which he considered as big a sin as acting on them. And I want to tell you, I disagree. I mean, we have things come into our consciousness that we don't just have to, we don't have to do anything about it. Just let it be burned up in the, the fire of the reality of who you are. When you think about when you fly in a plane, how you go past um, several layers of atmosphere where they have to change the pressure in the plane, and then if you're a, an astronaut and you go way out where there is no atmosphere, there's something about um, being aware that there are levels of um, function. We are designed to function as a sea of glass. It's not an abnormal state. What's abnormal is that we keep muddying it up. So when we understand that we have that capacity, Here's what's not allowed. No complaint. No shame. I wrote a list. No self-hatred. <laughs> no shadows. No judgment of the creative process. No judgments. That doesn't mean we aren't doing our own personal work to become more and more accurate in staying connected to the source of our being. But there is something of um, deliberateness of being thankful for that that allows this connection to the fire in the sea of glass. If the kingdom of heaven is at hand, and the sea of glass is at hand, and the fire is at hand, can we rest in the fact that we're built to do this together? That we're built to do it, and then we're built to do it together. So that there can be loving support to assist. I need assistance a lot. And I count on you for that. Not in the sense that I'm inadequate, but in the sense that if heaven is going to be brought into the earth, I need to be doing it with people who want to do that. Mm -hmm. This is not about a solo adventure. What I'm buying into is that I have these incredible capacities. I am an incredible human being, and so are you. You are already perfect and made in the image and likeness of how life works. When we know that and allow what comes into consciousness and into our heart to just be under our dominion as opposed to being under the dominion of it, we can maintain that sea of glass so that the fire, the, the power, the creative capacity we have to know what it's like to be a conscious human being is right there all the time. <laughs>